Hey guys, it's John from Phone Flinger, and today we're looking at my worker prophecy. Uh, so the prophecy is based off a retaliator internally. So if you have any retaliator internal parts and you just want the prophecy shell, then you can put your own retaliator parts into the shell, which is a cheaper way of getting one. Um, the blaster comes disassembled, so there is some assembly required, although you'll just need a screwdriver, some Allen keys. Um, if you're having difficulty, I found uh, Walcom S7 has a video a build guide on the Prophecy, which I found really helpful because there's some parts like attaching the barrel shroud can be quite difficult. Um, I also wasn't sure when using the 25 Newton spring because uh, there's quite a bit of pre-compression and I thought I was breaking my blaster but you just need to uh, put the stock on a bit more firmly. Um, so my current setup is a full metal breech, a expanded plunger tube and a 9 kilogram retaliator spring. Uh, with the current setup, I'm getting it about 130 FPS, that's without a scar barrel. Uh, 130 is the cap for Foam Flinger Nerf games, so it's pretty perfect. Um, there's also a Picatinny rail, which goes all the way along the top of the blaster, and there's uh, some side uh, keyhole attachment points for a Picatinny rail. Uh, the stock point on the back is also an end strike uh, stock attachment point, which means you can fit basically any uh, nerf stock on the back. Um, I quite like the uh, worker collapsible uh, skeleton stock. I also like the way the blaster is see-through as well. I think that looks really nice when you can see your internal parts. Um, it comes in clear or black as well as blue, but I went for blue just because I didn't want to go for black and I thought blue was a bit more vibrant than clear. Um, I've seen a honey badger kit for the Prophecy, which changes the front barrel here. Um, it means the barrel is a bit shorter, so the barrel can stick out of the shroud which makes it easier to fit a scar barrel, uh, a worker scar barrel. Um, with the um, 25 Newton spring, you get around 210 FPS. Um, in order to fit the spring, the uh, end cap of the stock needs to come off and the spring would actually stick out the end of the stock and actually fit inside the stock there. Uh, so I ordered from Monkey Mods uh, because they did um, some pre-cutting in the shell for me. Um, there was some rib removal to fit the expanded plunger tube. Um, there's also some screw holes here and enlarging the hole in the back so the spring can come out. Uh, that's why there's a metal plate there, so the shorter 9 kilogram retaliator spring can fit in. Um, overall, I'm very happy with the build quality of the Prophecy. Um, I think the uh, plastic is really sturdy. Uh, it's really well made, the, it primes really easily. Um, I've used a Caliburn before, and I think the, the Prophecy with the 25 Newton spring is actually easier to prime than a Caliburn is. Maybe just because of the, the grip on the front there. Um, hopefully I'll be having some uh, Foam Flinger Nerf game dates for you soon. Uh, the way things are at the minute, it doesn't look like uh, next month's games will go ahead either. Uh, but I'll let you know as soon as we're able to get back out on the field. Uh, so if you're into uh, Nerf in the UK, uh, we play in the Midlands at Beecham College Oadby. Uh, check out my Facebook page if you want to come join us.